what are gallstones formed? Again, uh, they are, there's a difference between intrahepatic gallstones and the calcified gallstones that in the gallbladder. That we hear about, yes. And uh, there, there are um, many, many potential causes. Um, in, from my experience, I've found that animal proteins are creating the, um, the most, from all foods, create mm -hmm. the most intrahepatic gallstones. Okay. Simply because they're highly acid forming, the bile is alkaline, and having uh, damaged proteins, denatured proteins, entering uh, the liver, and the liver, you know, dumping them into the bile ducts, that can uh, cause coagulation of the bile. So the bile starts clumping, you know, the mm -hmm. bits and pieces clumping together, and you create stones. Alcohol, um, alcohol. You know, excessive alcohol consumption uh, creates that. Um, there are, you know, there's a difference between certain types of alcohol, red wine, you know, one drink a day or every other day or two, once a week, may not be uh, in enough to create you know, stones. But if you have regular intake mm -hmm. of that, particularly women, they are now shown you know, to be at a risk of breast cancer, a high risk of breast cancer when they have more than one drink a day. Uh, so they have a very low capacity. They make more stones than men. They um, do, yeah, okay. From, in response to alcohol. Then uh, any kind of medical drug I was will wondering about produce uh, intrahepatic gallstone because they suppress something. Any, any medical drug is a suppressant drug, whether it's painkillers, antibiotic, mm -hmm. anti-inflammatory drugs, uh, or even over the drugs, counter stuff like over the counter drugs. Tylenol yeah. is one of the, you know, now there are studies to show that Tylenol is actually causing liver damage. And mm -hmm. so it is, it's a very risky, you know, uh, you know drug is because it's over the counter, people think, well, it's, it's harmless. Right. If you take it once, you're okay, twice maybe. If you take it regularly for the same thing, instead of looking at why is the body having a headache, why do you develop a headache? Uh -huh. Where is it really coming from? Where is the congestion? Where is the buildup of toxins? Instead of doing that, we, we take the, the drug that prevents the body from healing because the body needs to know, uh, needs uh -huh. to feel the pain in order to deliver the mm -hmm. macrophages and other you know, immune cells and cholesterol and other healing hormones uh, and uh, water regulating hormones to the area of congestion. So if you stop that, then uh, that's a no-no. Oh, okay. And the liver is suffering always mm -hmm. when you take these kind of drugs. These are chemicals that will end up in the bile ducts and they are surrounded by bile, which then coagulates the bile. And then the bile, the stones, are actually uh, necessary to prevent those deadly chemicals from entering the intestines okay. and getting you know, further into the you know, system. So the body is very self-protective. Mm -hmm. When it does something, it is never a disease. It is always trying to avoid something far worse from happening than is happening. And these, uh, you know, you know the, the alcohol, the drugs, the stress. Now, sleeping, sleeping at the wrong hours of the night. Oh, really? Big one. Causes a lot of stones because you are not allowing the liver to do its job at night time. So it cannot get rid of the toxins. They will start, you know, they, they will start accumulating in the liver. Mm -hmm. um, and you will find that after a while, when you don't sleep in your regular hours, you put on a lot of weight. There's mm -hmm. a study to show that for every hour you miss, mm -hmm. your, your, increase, your increased risk for putting on weight is 40%. Wow. So you, you, you literally, big. yes. And you disturb your metabolism. You interfere with all the functions in the liver because the liver depends on getting the blood from the back of the brain, from the intestines, from mm -hmm. your muscles, in order to do its work. If you are up during the hours, let's say between 10 and 2, right. and you're not sleeping during that time, the liver cannot do these things because it doesn't get the blood to work with the blood. So shift workers are really affected by that. Shift them. workers they have a high risk of cancer and mm -hmm. heart disease. Um, they often have arrhythmia, mm -hmm. you know, irregular heartbeat. One side of the heart is becoming too large and it's getting congested, congestive heart failure. Mm -hmm. So, yes, many, many health problems directly related to that. And you said stress will also cause gallstones? Stress, big time, uh, anger particularly. If you're frustrated, uh, you literally change the flora of the bile. There are bacteria in the bile. Mm -hmm. 
And they, the studies have shown that if you get upset and angry, you are um, changing the flora mm. of the bile. Okay. That means you change the, the uh, thickness and it starts you know, thickening up like, you know, like blood that can get thick when you eat protein. Same thing. Um, so there, there are many um, you know, things you can you know, do to prevent that from happening. But once you have developed gallstones, like it happened to me when I was six years old, and I had many intrahepatic gallstones already. Mm-hmm. And they, they started causing me digestive problems. Mm-hmm. Eventually I had 40 gallstone attacks. Uh, they're extremely painful and yes, preceded by fainting. I used to have fainting spells and they became gallstone attacks. And when I cleaned out my liver, I never had one again. Mm. After my first liver flush, I, was, yeah, I never had a gallstone attack again. And uh, that really shows how you know, the whole organism uh, is, is you know, reacting to when you uh, clean out the liver. Okay. Well, thank you very much.